Reddit is the perfect playground for experimenting with cutting edge AI. And I've created three incredible agents to handle it all. In this video, I'll show you how these bots reply to posts, how they make their own posts, and how they even monitor keywords to jump into conversations with intelligent responses. For example, the keyword here was website traffic. My AI agent found a post containing that keyword and then wrote and posted an intelligent response. Let me show you how to do this. First, head on over to youraiagent.com. Enter a name, email address, password, and then click sign up. It's gonna drop you onto the settings page. And obviously we're gonna to wanna to connect our Reddit account. So let's click the Reddit tab right here. Now connecting Reddit is actually pretty simple. You just need to name your integration within your AI agent and then click the connect button. It takes you to this OAuth page. You're gonna click allow. If everything is okay, you're gonna get a notification that says your Reddit account has been connected. So we can click okay. And then now on the connections tab again, if I scroll down, we see my newest Reddit connection right here. Next on the home page, we need to select our Reddit AI agents. If we're gonna to wanna to automate Reddit to its fullest capacity, I say it's best to use these three agents. In the drop down menu, I'm gonna select Reddit and it pops up all of the Reddit agents that we have available. We have Reddit comments, so automatically respond to new posts on your chosen subreddit. We have social listening, engage with your customers at the speed of social. And then we have subreddit posts, automatically share link or text posts of the latest Google news. I'm gonna go through setting up each of these agents. So if any of these interest you, just hold tight, but we're gonna start with Reddit comments. Let's click this group. Reddit comments is an AI agent that scans your chosen subreddit at set intervals. It analyzes the latest posts and crafts insightful tailored comments based on your style, tone, and brand preferences, making it perfect for engaging authentically and building a presence on Reddit. Now this next paragraph is very important and we need to have a discussion about it as a community. So to avoid bot detection, you should use aged accounts with organic activity and some existing karma, space out activity by commenting no more than once every two to three hours, and focus on smaller, less moderated subreddits rather than large or strict ones. Additionally, personalize your comments by customizing your agent prompt to make sure each response is unique and authentic. Whenever you decide to bot Reddit, there is a risk of account shadow banning. I don't want you guys to be using your best Reddit accounts. I also don't want you to be using brand new Reddit accounts. If you can find something in the middle, an aged account with at least some karma on it and some organic activity, you should be fine. If your account does get shadow banned, you can try going to reddit.com slash appeal and then appeal the suspension. It's funny that my aged account, it's Wes Frank, has posted thousands and thousands of times without getting shadow banned. Yet I've had some users post one or two times and immediately their account gets suspended. In this older video, I shared a story where I let my bot go haywire. It was answering literally every post on the new YouTuber subreddit and it didn't get shadow banned, it actually got called out by the community. It's a pretty funny thread where everyone's trying to guess if I'm a bot or not. But if you're interested, check out this video, I built a Reddit bot and got caught. Also, this account might have got hacked because it was posting hundreds of times per day in not safe for work subreddits. I definitely didn't set that up and still this account is running smoothly. So I have no idea what their credentials are for shadow banning accounts. If you have any ideas of how we can prevent this as a group, you know, we're all in this together, please leave it in the comments below. Anyways, let's continue here. First, you select your Reddit connection from the drop-down box above. Then we select our comment settings. I'm gonna post every three hours and I'm not gonna post on the weekends. Next, we need to choose our subreddit. This is where you want your AI agent to post to. And this is gonna depend completely on what you're trying to achieve. 
how you're trying to grow, what is your niche. I give the example here of fantasy football. Let me copy this, let me paste that in. And then you're gonna wanna update your agent prompt. I'm giving you 1,000 characters, but I'm probably going to increase this to 5,000 characters. So you're gonna be able to include a lot of data, a lot of information, maybe some examples, and that's gonna help personalize your AI agent. But I'm just gonna use the default prompt for now. I'm gonna go, you are a fantasy football expert AI agent. Let me click start. It takes you to the workflows page and I'm gonna check on my active workflow. Here we have my latest post. It's showing my upcoming post. You can edit any of your settings here. I can also click a link to see that post. And here's a post about Bijan Robinson. I actually had him on my fantasy team this year. And we have my AI agent writing about those numbers. Look at that, we might finally see him break that 30 point barrier. It's already an expert in fantasy football. Okay, next agent, let's set up a social listening tool. Social listening works for Blue Sky, Reddit, or Twitter, and you stay ahead of the conversation with social listening. This agent monitors Reddit, Twitter, and Blue Sky for mentions of your chosen keyword, brand name, or hashtag. When it finds a match, it instantly replies to the post using your customized agent prompt or AI preferences. It's perfect for managing your brand presence, engaging with your audience, and jumping into relevant discussions effortlessly. Again, we want to set our reply settings. For this agent, I recommend every four to six hours. Remember, we wanna keep this bot running as long as possible without being caught. I'm going for quality over quantity. I know a lot of you just wanna spam this. Let's go once every hour, let me do 20 workflows but your accounts are gonna get banned so fast. You want longevity. You want this running for as long as possible. You want it running on autopilot so you can focus on the more important things in your business. Okay, let's change that to six. Next is the listening keyword. We need to enter one keyword or brand name or hashtag that you want the agent to monitor for mentions. Now, let's say I'm a graphic designer. I think when someone writes about graphic design, especially if they use the key phrase graphic designer, they're probably looking for one. So if I write graphic designer here, our agent is going to search Reddit for a post that contains this key phrase and then respond to it. We don't know what the post with this key phrase will contain. Sometimes it will be a person looking for a graphic designer. Maybe it is a graphic designer talking about his experience. Whatever it is, we want the agent to respond and get our name and face out there. So for the agent prompt, I'm gonna make some updates. I'm going to specifically start this prompt with, you are a local graphic designer in New Jersey looking for new clients. And then you are designed to monitor social media mentions and craft relevant, engaging replies. Let's start this agent. And you don't have to worry about doubling up because once an agent has responded to a post, it's not gonna respond to that post again. It's gonna store that in its history and therefore it will never make a mistake. Let me click on this post link and here's a new post that was made eight minutes ago. He's talking about typography books for web design and development. And we see that the keyword that it hit on was graphic design. Now for Reddit, the listening keyword appears to be a soft match, but for Blue Sky or Twitter, it's an exact match. So if we wrote graphic designer for the Twitter feed, it would only respond to posts with these exact characters in this order. If it came up graphic design, the AI agent would not respond to that post. So if you wanted to target graphic design and graphic designer, you'd have to make two workflows. For Reddit, it's going to catch all of it, or at least the most similar keywords, and that is why it responded to this post. And it's cool, it's great to see your enthusiasm for enhancing your typography skills. And it even recommended another book, Better Web Typography for a Better Web. The last agent on our list is subreddit posts. Post news articles to a subreddit of your choosing enter your desired search term or query, and select whether you want a link post or a self-text post. If you opt for a self-text post, 
and no article text is scraped, the bot will automatically default to posting the link instead. So what does that mean? First, you're going to enter your search query, and this is what we are going to scrape Google News for. Let's say we want to talk about Tesla. I'm going to type in that keyword. Then we need to choose our subreddit. I think I'm going to target the Tesla subreddit. So I'm going to be their go-to news guy. Every time there's a new news result on Tesla, I'm going to post it in that subreddit. I think that's a pretty good way to get some karma. Now, if I choose link post, what the AI agent is going to do is just take the title of the article and then post the link. If I choose text post, the AI agent is going to go one step further. And you can see that it opened up the agent prompt section and the dynamic data that we're including is the article's text. So not only is it going to take the article's title and its URL, the AI agent is going to go into that article, scrape all the article text, and then summarize that text based on what you write in this agent prompt. Do you want to be funny? Do you want to be witty? Or do you want to be professional? How do you want these summarizations to look like? How do you want them to sound? This is again dependent on the type of agent that you want to produce. I'm just going to use the default prompt for now. It just says summarize the provided article text into a concise and engaging summary suitable for a Reddit post. Let's click start agent. Now I can click into that workflow and see my latest post. It appears that the Tesla subreddit has moderation. So it's going to wait for a moderator approval before posting it live. If you don't like that, you should find a subreddit where this isn't the case. But anyways, it posted Tesla investors are still bullish. Can Elon Musk deliver? And we have a short summary. And in the comments section, the AI agent automatically posts the source URL. I found that putting a source URL in the text post itself is more likely to be removed by the admins of the subreddit because they don't want people spamming outside links, but it's perfectly okay to put it in the comment section. And if I click on this link, it takes me to the New York Times and that article that I wrote on Reddit. If you want to try these three Reddit AI agents for yourself, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you have any ideas for a new Reddit agent, please write that in the comments. I love building out new features for this app. If you want to learn how to build your own custom AI agents and turn it into a profitable web app, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see it in there. Peace.